Commander. Sorry, I haven't really had time to check in since we launched. Glad to be on board. And I have to apologize, I'm a little unfocused due to a personal matter. But I won't let it affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Repeat, toxology alert. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay... Along with us anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others. Some have lost faith. The Hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. I... Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them. Agents of the liar. He will not escape. Lock and load. <laughs> ah! oh. 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 Take it along. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. They don't look hostile, but they're wearing enemy colors. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Yeah. But that other woman said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me! Impact and Impact imminent and captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Hard force casualty. Any CO? Please, wait. You... You fought his machines. You have his face. But you might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this... Was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My girl went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. That rotted old corpse looked like a warning. The newer ones looked like they died there. The hunters started fighting back. Hi, <laughs> Combat drone! 
You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Not who you expected, Captain? I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I... Hope to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol... They couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, He'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the taillights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? 
Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Come on. We've got work to do. Aye, Commander. 